Hello, this is Athena from the Seedling Stitch. In August 27, 2019, I married this guy that I've known since I was 16 years old at the beach of Vancouver. I wasn't into knitting or crochet back then, but the dress I selected was forth shadowing like a crocheted one. The ceremony was small and cute with only two of my best friends. The plan was to go back to China in the next summer and have a proper big Chinese wedding. But 2020, the pandemic. It became impossible to travel or to gather for a wedding. Then 2021, waves of pandemic still came back at us again and again. And in 2022, I was too busy with my last critical year of PhD. Thankfully, I graduated in December. In 2023, the travel bans and quarantine period were finally alleviated. So after four full years, we decided to return to China and do a makeup wedding on our fourth year anniversary. It felt odd to wear a big wedding gown at this point. I also didn't want to wear any traditional red Chinese wedding dress that my mom was suggesting. I just wouldn't feel like myself in them. Then it occurred to me that I have this issue of Keito Dama magazine, the Japanese knitting and crochet magazine, and this one specifically with the pattern of the perfect crocheted wedding dress. So I decided to make it and in the color of light green that I love, love, love. It was six weeks towards my wedding and I had to pause all my other work and focus solely on the making of this dress. So here we are. This is my video diary of the making of this epic wedding dress project. Hello, this is day two of the project and this is so far what I have done. I basically cast on last night and have <laughs> made these. So I've crocheted about 10 gram of this yarn. Uh, I got this yarn yesterday from Wacko Wools, the yarn store I work with, and uh, it's the Knitting for Olaf Pure Silk in color Dusty Artichoke. And I've only got two balls because that's all we have in the yarn store. Guess what, this is a popular color there. And I've ordered 10 more balls. Um, so I think these two balls will last about two weeks until the full shipment comes to Vancouver. And then I can start working more from there. Uh, the dialogue might not be the same, but I think with crochet it's less of a problem. And this part, that's the belt of the top. I'll, I'll show you the pattern. I spent probably an hour just trying to figure out the whole construction of the thing. It's a top and a skirt. And the top starts from the like here and then crochet down for the belt and then uh, you do these motifs or granny squares or whatever these flowers and then connect them together so I'm doing the lower part of the top and then I'll work from there so I think the dialog will be less of a problem if I only work here with this dialog that I have so that's all for today exciting <laughs> hello this is day six of the wedding dress crocheting project. Uh, I haven't started crocheting today and I'm just here to show you the progress of the past five days. And these are what I have done. Uh, it is the top. This is crocheted from like this part, top or bottom up and then this top, this part down. So it is, this is the like waistband or belt, whatever you call it. And this part is crocheted in the flat with the same pattern. And then you crochet around this to form this uh, little pico edge and the, the, the edge, the frame of it. Uh, so at this part, you will also be adding some buttons. This is the buttonhole. And according to the pattern, I should be buying some pearl button, uh, which I think I will do. And then for this part, it would just be a bunch of these uh, flower motifs. I have made uh, one round and half a round of these motifs. Um, for these motifs, you crochet one by one. And then as you crochet new ones, you add, you connect them. So you don't sew them up afterwards. Like when you 
crochet this one, and then you crochet the next one. You just connect these two as you crochet these two petals of the flower. That's how you do it. I think it's um, really brilliant and really <laughs> saves a lot of job to sewing afterwards and I like it. Um, and yesterday I connected the first round of the flower motif to the belt and it's also not by sewing, it's by just crocheting these single crochet stitches as you go and you just connect them with the chain stitch as you go. So that's easier than sewing. Together there will be 116 motifs for the whole top. Uh, finished one round that's 16 and then half a round that's eight so together 24 motifs um, I I think I can make like 11 to 12 motifs every day if <laughs> if I don't do anything else and I think that's a good uh, good progress so far uh, I have I'm on my second ball of the pure silk I have 27 grams left so basically I've crocheted one and a half balls for all of these and I think that's a good progress for only five days and I think I'll be able to make the deadline. Uh, that's for today. Let's see the garden. Benz is there. He is in a little shadow. Not sure if you can see. You can see his tail there. Uh, and so for today. Hi, it's day 19 of the wedding dress project and I have ta -da, this to show you. I have finished the top. Well, not almost finished apart from uh, a few little details. So for one thing, I'll need to add the buttons, which I will buy some during the weekend. And for another, uh, there's actually a round of embellishment around the belt so oh, i'm not sure if you can see so it's there's a round of crocheted belt to be sold on here and also on the skirt part as well so that's from the yarn store we work together she's my friend and she offered to crochet this belt for me so this will be a collaboration effort and once she's finished i'll sew this here as well so it's just like a divider to or a transition to move from this uh, pattern to the flower granny flower motifs and I have crocheted 116 flowers for these I feel like I can sleep and crochet this flower by now it's been engraved into my mind yeah that's that's the top uh, as for constructions it was I've talked about the belt, it was like crochet in the flat and then uh, the flowers you actually crochet and connect them like connect them as you go and then for the color and the armhole you crochet an extra two rounds to form this pico edge uh, it's also will make the color tighter uh, because if I don't do this top round, the color will be huge. It was kind of ridiculous. I was very worried before I crochet the last round, but luckily it is good now. And I've spent a bit more than two weeks, probably 17, 16 days uh, before I finish it. And I have since cast on the skirt uh, and this is how much I have finished for the skirt. Uh, the skirt is a it's a three tier skirt. The first tier features this motif that is the uh, the same pattern, stitch pattern, which is the same as this part, uh, exactly the same. And then the second tier and the third tier are another two uh, different motifs. And this was this is the skirt in the pattern book. Uh, it is very long. It's a 105 centimeter long skirt, but I think it's too long for me and also I won't have enough time to make the full length. Uh, I'd like this to be like 70 centimeter ish, like a midi length just below my knee. Uh, so I've done some calculation. Uh, I 
just change the pattern repeat. I reduce a few pattern repeats for these so that it's a, the length is about two thirds of the original length. So I knock off knock out a few pattern repeats. Yeah, uh, I still have four weeks left. And I think that will be enough. It's a lot of intense crocheting and wish the best for me. When I was crocheting these flowers, I also made some time-lapse video and I'll just insert that piece here. I forgot to say that I bought these Birkenstocks to match with my uh, wedding dress, top, skirt, basically everything else that I've knitted and owned because it's in the matcha green. I've been obsessed with Birkenstock in the past few weeks uh, because I watched Barbie the movie and just while I was going to the store i saw this color and i have to buy it it was a huge fortune <laughs> because it's a special color and there's no discount and blah 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 but i think i have to get it and then i'll be able to wear it with my wedding dress so no heels for wedding i've been like dreading the heel wearing for the wedding for a while and my mom has been pressuring me to bring back heels I just really don't want to wear heels. It's really uncomfortable. Why do I want to torture myself like that? And now I have this and I'll be able to wear it forever. Like it will be glued to my feet. So <laughs> just want to share this with you. Hi again, it's August 14th and it's the 37th day of the wedding dress project. It's been two weeks since I last recorded the video. Uh, it's me, taken me so long because I was so worried about not being able to finish this. So I've just been crocheting crazily and I've done a lot, a lot of things. And I feel like if I don't record a video today, uh, I'll probably just finish everything, so I better do it today. Um, and also, I've also been uh, working hard on publishing my pine fur sweater pattern. This is my pine fur sweater. Uh, I think I kind of made a wrong decision. The pine fur sweater is on Ravelry already, uh, but it's kind of in the wrong season. I thought it's autumn, but we had a heat warning yesterday so it's hot hot summer and not kind of not the right weather for the pine for sweater uh, but anyway i just want to get it out of the system so that i can focus on my wedding dress and my uh, future designs and my travel back to china and eating all the delicious chinese food the barbecue um, everything that i've been missing so much so yeah, the pine for sweater is out if you're interested. And now let's go back to the wedding dress project. I'll show you what I've done in the past two weeks. So basically I've just been working on the skirt. Uh, it is a three tier skirt. There are three different patterns. And the first is a single crochet uh, pattern. I think the first, the first one is the most boring or it's I feel like it takes me the longest time, but I don't think that's actually the truth. It's just like it grows very slowly because of the single crochet stitch. And as I go to the second second layer, it's more like the double crochet stitches. So 
Uh, there's a lot of lace, so it grows faster vertically. Uh, and now I'm working on the last tier, which is the uh, third tier. And it's like this. And uh, there will be like six repeats of this pattern. I've done four repeats already. So I'm pretty close to finishing this one, but this also takes very long because you see how wide it is. Uh, this design is like like an A skirt, so it grows uh, with 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 words <laughs> with wise with why. So it grows vertically very fast, but every round there's almost 600. It's like five, 570 something stitches. So it takes forever to crochet one round, uh, but it grows very fast, so it's fair. Um, and you crochet the three different layers and then you sew them together. So here I've sewed the first and second tier already. Uh, I've yet have to do that for the third tier. Uh, and, and also you can see even for the same pattern, it grows uh, on the width as well because I have to change the gauge of as instructed by the pattern. Uh, in the pattern, it asks you to change a crochet hook size uh, from 2.25 to 2.5, but my 2.5 millimeter hook is really bad. I have a very good 2.25 millimeter hook, the clover one, and I just lose, gradually lose my gauge, and I feel like I'm an expert of controlling gauge <laughs> with the one single crochet hook. I can get a range of you see <laughs> a range of different ga gauges uh, I'm very proud of myself uh, yes so that's how it goes for now uh, and also uh, if you remember last time I talked about the top uh, there should be an embellishment here and I've delegated <laughs> this job to Celeste, uh, my friend from the yarn store. And she has finished this and gave these cute felt for me. Look how cute it is. I feel like you can um, just crochet this and like, hang it on the wall. It looks very pretty. Or do it as a bracelet or as a actual belt uh, but yeah for the pattern I will sew this on here so I'll probably do it this afternoon oh and yeah uh, apart from this I'll also need to crochet the belt and insert the elastic so that I can actually wear this thing uh, yeah that's everything see you next week when I finish bye it's day 40 of the project I'm on the last pattern repeat of the last year and I'm just about to open the final ball of yarn. I purchased 12 balls and I've used 11. These are all the labels. And let's just open the last label and finish the project. It's August 18th, Friday, and I'm on day 41 of the project. I just realized that I haven't filmed any footage of me actually crocheting, like working on the project and I am on the last round of the project so I decided that I have to do it now or there will be no chance and no footage of me actually crocheting the project. So here it is, this is how I normally work on this project watching some TV shows on the iPad or listening to some audiobooks while I crochet. And here it is, and I'm about to finish. See you in the next clip where I finish everything. I finished, and this is day 42, so exactly six weeks. I finished all the crocheting, and this is how the dress looks like and blocked. And let's go block it. I like to use the Eucalyptus No Rinse Wool Wash and the Eucalyptus flavor. Forty minutes later, everything is well soaked.
Wrap it around a dry towel. And squeeze out all the liquids out. This is how I usually do it, just by sitting on top of it for several times like this. It's all done! Let's see the details! On the day before, there was a pre-wedding party with some family friends. I wore the skirt matching with the knitted kuta top and using the handbag that Yuran made me. Here comes the final wedding day. I just wore the full set as planned. It looks really nice. Um, we don't actually have a host for the wedding, so we just decided to host our own wedding. We did it in sort of like a stand-up comedy style where we just gave a story about how we got together and what our life had been. It was a really nice atmosphere. I think everybody enjoyed the talk. I hope so. They all laughed and we had some good food. And uh, several of the aunties in laws, they just subscribed to my channel right after knowing me from the wedding. So it was really nice. After the wedding, I stayed at my hometown Harbin for another 20-ish days and visited some famous sites. This is the Central Street, Zhongyang Daji, featuring the stone pedestrian walk. This is the bank of the Songhua River that ran through my hometown. I got a little bit here. This is the old railroad bridge. It has retired and now it's just a tourist site. My wedding outfit is so wearable even in regular occasions. Here is a little easter egg. I got to film this little footage with my grandma. If you've watched my channel for a while, you knew that my grandma used to be a knitter and she donated a lot lots of beautiful yarn for me. And a lot of you have commented that she had excellent taste and had a great selection and colors of yarn. So here she is and she had a few words for us. <笑>我不会说啥呀 奶奶比较害羞，嗯，哪个朋友们都在弹幕上夸夸奶奶。老太太了，不用夸了。嗯，希望大家多关注刘小河就行了。嗯，好了，拜拜，拜拜。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><